This video is brought to you by Bose, introducing the new A20 aviation headset with improved noise reduction and Bluetooth connectivity. And by XMWX Satellite Weather. Never fly blind again. See us in Air Venture booth 3037. I'm Adam Cutler reporting for AvWeb from EAA Air Venture 2010. We're down at Pioneer Field in front of the Goodyear Blimp. We're going to be taking a flight soon, but more interestingly, the Goodyear Blimp, from the day it's commissioned to the day it's taken out of service, is never left alone even for a minute. We're going to be talking to their crew chief, Charles Schenkel, to learn more about that. Yeah, we've constantly got to have somebody with the airship 24-7. Uh, the airship has two airbags inside that compress the helium to keep the shape of the envelope. So as the helium is contracting, expanding, those airbags are always adjusting. So we have to have somebody there to, to do it. It doesn't do it by itself. In the hangar 24-7, it's never left alone. 365 days a year, we always have somebody with it. Uh, it's not quite as critical in the hangar as it is outside, but you still, the helium still wants to adjust itself, so you still need to have somebody there to do the, the readings on it. Uh, early morning hours or evening hours, once it's starting to either heat up or cool down, is when they're constantly adjusting because the helium does its, its effect then. The airship can hold up to roughly around 80 mile an hour winds on the mast outside. Uh, it's, it's like a big windsock. It's 192 feet long, 60 feet high, so it's like a big sail. When the wind hits the side of it, it wants to throw it, so it's going to spin around. That's why a lot of time when we go to airports, uh, uh, pilots like seeing the blimp on the field because it tells them the wind direction. Rain doesn't hurt it, it just creates some weight, so again, uh, the watch stander has to pull the ballast out of the airship to make it lighter, uh, and as the rain goes away and it starts drying off, we've got to put weight back into it. So, uh, Rain can build up to roughly around 600 pounds of water weight. Snow, on the other hand, is a, a big factor. Uh, snow creates a lot of weight, so we try not to be in the snow. Uh, we do have a hangar that the airship goes into to keep the snow off of it. You can actually tell by watching it how the airship will kite through the air and uh, how it comes down and the landing gear uh, hits the ground, uh, as well as uh, just picking it up. Uh, we try not to be no more than about 100 pounds heavy on the mooring mast, so uh, you can actually go up and literally pick it up and you can watch how it falls and stuff. And we usually just know by training and over the time of how, we, how heavy the airship actually is. At AirVenture, Goodyear was offering rides in the blimp. I took a 45-minute excursion around Whitman Field and got a basic feel for how an airship operates. The blimp has two Continental IO360s with reversible props. That's not much horsepower, so you don't go very fast or get very far in a blimp. Running at 30% power, the airship cruises along at 20 knots. At one point, the pilot reversed the props and we parked over Pioneer Field for a few minutes. With the windows wide open, you can't beat the view from 500 feet. It looks pretty neat from the ground, too. It takes a lot of people to operate a blimp. As you can see from this clip, it takes about five guys on each mooring line when the blimp lands, and for takeoff, they give the airship a good bounce to test its buoyancy. The blimp was at AirVenture for most of the week. To find out more about the blimp, check GoodyearBlimp.com.